my name is Apachisende, and I'm from Hello. Good day everyone, my name is Apachisende, and I'm from Yearfoot. That is St. Mubaz Parish from Yearfoot. Before I go forward with my speech, I would like to acknowledge my attendance over there for helping us arrange this program. And I would like to thank you all for attending this program. So please, would we all give for that a round of applause? It's a privilege for each and every one of us here to be in your midst, so we hope you appreciate our presence. Thank you. So, my topic today will be on dignity. Before I go on, I'd like to define the term dignity. Dignity simply refers to the state of Great simply refers to the state's worthy of esteem and respect. So in other words, dignity refers to being a quality of self-esteem and self and respect. A person who has this character is all a person of high morale and pride. What do I do? Let me give an instance, for example, to these to those who are students who understand what I do. When how do you feel when you answer a question correctly that the teacher asks? Like when the teacher asks you a question and then you're the only one that knows the answer. And then they start clapping for you. You feel this kind of happiness and pride inside yourself. Right? That's um, pride. That feeling you get is similar to dignity. It is a combination of dignity and pride. What I'm trying to tell you about this is dignity is this feeling you get when you do something, when you work it. This is the feeling you get when people respect you. Like, let's put someone like Father, for instance. We all respect him and that's such. He has his own dignity. The dignity is the character which he shows up to us. Now, this dignity is a pride and respect the person has based on what he has done. Now, you don't just get dignity just by it coming there. The only way you can get it is by doing something. As I like to, there's a motto I go by that is, do everything, anything you want to do, do it with pride and joy. The reason for this is that what you are doing is not for yourself. You should do it for someone else. You should care about what other people, not just yourself. When you are doing something, do it with joy. So why you enjoy it knowing that you are helping someone, not helping yourself. That's what I'm trying to say today. And once you do that, you will notice that people begin to show a form of respect towards you. That form of respect will not be to you developing a sense of dignity in yourself. Now, I would also like to talk about pride. And pride simply means a state of being proud, or feeling honored, or satisfied about something. As I really had given an example with the student. Now, we, know, we all know that pride is also a vice, but pride sometimes can also be used for good things. I'm not talking about being over proud or something. You should have pride, but a limit of it. When I'm saying pride, you should be pride, you should be proud that you're a Christian. As far as it, we are all sacraments of God, and hence you should be proud of this fact that we are a sacrament of God. That we are children of God. We call ourselves Christians, but let me ask you a question. Do we actually show this attitude of Christianity towards others? We go to church every day, yes, we do many things. We go to church, we give up, with, we go to church, the choir starts singing stuff. But have you ever asked yourself, what have you actually done to call yourself a Christian? What true action have you done to show that you are a Christian? If you go through the Bible, you notice around the epistles of the that is the letters of the apostles and so on, you will begin to see what the apostles are doing. They wrote letters to guide for that not, for that, not only that, they were also guiding other people by themselves. If you notice at the point, that says Paul and says that they also gathered to the faith to under them and shed the and so their belongings. And what they do with the prophets? They use the prophets to take care of each other and of themselves. They didn't do this just because it was their spirituality. They did this for the pride and joy of doing that because they knew they are helping other people, not themselves. So what I'm trying to say today is that in order for us to be a better Christian in our life, in order for us to be a better person in our life, we have to learn how to do things. Not just doing things, but doing it for the sake of other people, to make others happy, doing it for the pride and joy of it. And when you begin doing this, you notice that people begin to respect you. People begin to obey you. Just, they will begin to respect you as an adult, when I you're even an adult. So I just hope that you guys have grabbed something from the Thank you.